this is something that you could install anywhere. It could be a courtyard, it could be a wall, so let's get to it. We found an old window frame at a second-hand store. That's what you want, even preferably go to one of those junkyards. You'll always find something there. Let's get it and let's zoot up and zhuzh up this wall, which looks really awful at the moment. All right, team. So I've got Garth involved here because this ain't a one-man job. First job that we're going to be doing is we've got three brackets there. We've got a spirit level and a pencil, and we are going to work out what height we want this at because it's got to look like a window. So, Garth, what do you think? Let's hold this baby up. Let's have a look here. Uh, what do you say about that? Yeah, but that's about right. I think that's about perfect, okay? So let's just make a mark there. Okay, and down it comes. Right. So we now know that's going to be our level at which everything is going to work off. We're using the middle of the spirit level to work out our center point for our middle bracket. The end of our spirit level as our next bracket and the other end of the spirit level for our other bracket. Next step is let's get the brackets in and mark them so we know where to drill. We've got a cordless drill which is fantastic. Lithium iron, this is going to do the job. We've got a masonry drill bit. It's on hammer function which is also important and away we go. It's now time for the brackets. All we do, line them up. Okay, and we've got these hilties, the best thing that has ever been created in DIY. It's got the plug, it's got a star in there, and all you do is you pop it in. Lovely. <laughs> Put the other one in and it just gives you a bit of support. And sometimes it can get a bit challenging to get a hammer in here with the brackets. So what I suggest that you do is take a screwdriver pop the screwdriver on there and then you've got a nice opening to be able to whack it in and that's it you don't screw anything you're simply just nailing this guy in how are you doing there Garth? I'm doing well Tanya. Excellent. Right folks three brackets are in next step is we're gonna bring our window frame in and attach it to the wall and we just make sure that it's in the middle 100%. Now, let's start on this side, Garth. We're going to drill with a wooden drill bit, and we're going to drill a hole through there in the corner where there's lots of strength, one through here, and then we're going to use the masonry drill bit to go into the wall, and the same plugs. We're going to attach one, two, and that means that our frame is nicely secured. Please don't try and take a shortcut here. Don't just put a masonry drill in here and just hook it on. Don't let it hang, because if there's a wind, if somebody comes and grabs onto it for safety and pulls the whole thing off, you could be in trouble, all right? So let's just take the effort and do it properly. All right, Garth, let's whack it. Nice. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Right guys, we're putting on the base of our little window box and that is literally going to be flush against our window frame. To make sure that it's nice and secure, we've got little tacking nails and we're just going to pop them in from the bottom, which is the top part of our bracket, and make sure that this is nice and secure. Now we're going to assemble the box literally on top of this. Makes life much easier, you're not crawling around on the floor on your hands and knees. Let's get to it, Garth. Okay. Okie dokie. So we've got our back plate, which is going to be that guy. There we go, pop him there. And we've got our front plate, and we've got our spaces. So we just need to turn them over this way. Yeah, that's it. And then you've got a bit of leverage there. Let me come across there and give you a hand. Nice. Three screws in to make sure that it's really nice and solid. Excellent. Only thing you need to remember when you are doing this, make sure that your spaces are nice and flush with your edge and on this side so that you're not going to get 
a wonky, what do you call those things? A rhombus. It's nice, Garth. Okay, should we flip this baby over? Look at you, right over, pop the other side on, and repeat the procedure, sir. Now to make sure that this guy is attached to the base, we're just gonna pop a few screws in here, one or two, just to make sure it's nice and secure. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna start the planting. Let's head it, Garth. Our drainage pebbles are in a bit of our beautiful pimp potting soil mixture, and now we're gonna get planting. We've got some beautiful yellow daisies. They're gonna go as the main focal point to give us a bit of height, because it's a normal yellow argyranthemum. And then we've got some little, gorgeous little purple petunias, and they naturally are cascading. Maybe three of them in here, in between the yellow. So we've got yellow and purple playing on each other. Oh, it's gonna be gorgeous. Let's get planting. Last bit, a bit of good watering. This in terms of watering and care, you're probably gonna have to water it every second day, a good deep watering. And then remember to start feeding with the liquid plant food. Oh, I think we should get some tables and chairs and finish off our, our patio, Garth. Well, Garth, I think we've done a great job. Yeah, it came out very nice, didn't you? Very, very nice, and I think Gracie and Holly approve. We've got our cup of tea. Well, the rest of the day we're taking off. Cheers, guys. Cheers, Tanya. Well, there you go, guys. Really easy. One, two, three. Up it goes. Remember, in the seasons, you can just change it, colour it up, do whatever you want. Enjoy the DIY. <laughs>